Hi and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because today we're heading back up to Scotland and there's a few treats in store. Like I said in the intro, we are heading back up to Scotland today. Um, anyone that's been following the channel and uh, all of our videos um, will probably know that our plan was to go up to Scotland and then across to the Isle of Skye. Um, that is still the plan, but some kind of miracle happened the other day. Um, I was at work and received a text message off Alison saying that she's been thinking. Now, obviously, when Alison's thinking, that can be a bit dangerous. Would you agree? Yes, definitely. So, anyway, what Alison had suggested was, because we may not get another chance, um, why don't we go across the Isle of Skye and then get a ferry to the Isle of Mull? And I thought, I hang on a minute. I don't direction that is. Yeah, I thought, hang on a minute. All the time I've known Alison, the candidate didn't get her in a rowing boat no. because she suffers from seasickness. Um, and motion sickness, she has vertigo anywhere, so none of yes. this is a help. No. But I thought, hang on a minute, she wants to go to the uh, Isle of Mull. On the map, the Isle of Skye is up there, and the Isle of Mull will be backtracking. So I thought, no, that's no good. So why don't we change it up a little bit? So what I decided to do is while she's you know happy to try a ferry i thought i'd book three of them so what we've actually done is we're heading up to oh God. the isle of sky and then once we've been around the isle of sky we're then getting a ferry across to the outer hebrides to harrison lewis and then we're going to be working our way down the hebrides uh, there's another ferry to get across to one of the other islands and then when we get to the bottom there's a ferry to get us across to Auburn. So that's what's all been booked because I thought <laughs> I'll take the chance. I know you booked them quick. Yeah, I did book them quick because I yeah. thought, you know, while we've got you on that little seize fishing, the yeah, we're going to seize the moment. You're on the fishing line, we're just now going to wind it in and we're going to get you on all them ferries. <laughs> so um, oh, obviously the plan to do from our house up to uh, the Isle of Skye is quite a drive, it's about eight and a half hours. Um, so obviously we're going to stop off on the way. Um, a few times. Oh yeah, we'll be stopping yeah. off every hour and a half, two hours, uh, so we can let the dogs out, uh, let them do the business, have a bit walk about and stretch the legs. Take tablets. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah take, the ta take our tablets when I'm talking about the dogs. Oh no. Um, and then we're basically heading up towards um, Loch Lomond and then up to sort of Glencore so just going to sort of see how far we can comfortably get to today um, just see what what I'm like driving um, yeah. yeah we'll just see where things are so our plan is that we'll stop over on the way up to today and then tomorrow we will head across to the Isle of Skye we've got a couple of days on the Isle of Skye and then head right. back down onto the other ones. The reason I changed my mind was my condition's getting a little bit worse and I thought it's a once in a lifetime thing to go to the Outer Hebrides. We may not get another chance. So live life basically to the full and it's supposed to be beautiful so yeah, really looking forward yeah. to it. Um, Biting the bullet with a seasickness.
So we've made it to our first park up. Um, we've actually been here about an hour now. Um, but absolutely stunning deer. It's absolutely red hot today. Um, the sun is just so warm and so bright. Um, so first park up today is in um, this car park, which is it's called, let's flick you around, it's West End Car Park in Fort William. Yeah, as you can see, there is plenty of camper vans, um, motorhomes. Um, yeah, brilliant. It's free parking for blue badge holders, so that's perfect. Um, we're parked right on the edge, and we have absolutely stunning views. So, and say the sunset is going to be absolutely stunning later today. There's people going in the water because it is so warm. It is such a hot day. The water is crystal clear as well. So we're just looking out onto that. That's our view for this evening. We were actually facing the other way with the back of the van pointing that way, but the sun was just too fierce coming through the doors. So and the dogs were getting too hot, so we've had to move it. Well, good morning everybody, um, had a really good night's sleep last night, it was uh, nice and quiet, it, there was a few sort of and our cars coming in and out of the car park and stuff, um, but uh, yeah it was really quiet and then woke up this morning to another amazing view, I'm just going to flick you around because we've got really low cloud 
I'm hoping the camera does this justice because it's absolutely stunning. So we have that low cloud right across the mountains. If you can hear something sloshing about, there's a swimmer just gone in the sea. Well, in the lock, swimming across towards that boat. And then, again, just as I pan further round, there's a mountain right in the back. It's where, obviously, the clouds just cover it. There's just the peak sticking through at the moment. But, yeah, it was a really, really good spot. Um, there's been another wild swimmer in. Come to vans. There's... Uh, been a few vans. Yeah, so as I say, a stunning place to park up. Um, outstanding views. Loads of space to get parked down here. Um, I'm sure it was free parking between, uh, I'm going to say, 8 o'clock last night and 9 o'clock this morning. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to turn you back around there because that mist's just clearing a little bit more along there so just the views just changing that, that wild swimmer has now gone round the other side of that boat and is swimming up the middle or is it the Loch Ness monster doubt it wrong lock <laughs> but yeah absolutely stunning and as I say the view's changing by the minute. I mean, there's that mountain range now in the in the back. So the mist has just dropped again. Absolutely stunning. Anyway, so the plan is now just going to have a cup of coffee, get sorted out in the van a little bit, um, and then we'll be um, just checking the map and heading off to Sky, I think. Uh, today we might have a bit, a bit pot around Fort William. Uh, I've never been before, so we'll, we're not in a rush. So we'll just have a bit drive around and uh, we'll take you with us. So I'll catch you in a bit. Well, we've just been to McDonald's and it seems like everybody else in that car park went as well. It was extremely busy. Yeah, I think that's what tends to happen. Um, obviously, everybody's overnight camping, and even those with portal loose and stuff, obviously, it's a bit more for emergency purpose. So, I think everybody sort of heads to McDonald's first thing in the morning, um, uses the facilities, and indulges in a sausage and egg muffin breakfast yep. because they are very indulgent. <laughs> Seems um, a lot in Fort William as we're driving through it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it looks quite nice. Yeah. Just going through the town. We're actually driving on the 82, I think we are. Um, we're heading up to Sky now. Um, sat nav saying it's about two and a half hours from where we were. So, as I say, we made good time yesterday. Uh, nice, easy drive. Traffic was pretty low. Um, quite a few stops. Yeah, and because there was, uh, we managed to get a, quite a few stops in to get the dogs out and stretch their legs. But it was an enjoyable drive. It's really nice day, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not like driving backwards and forwards to work where you're bumper to bumper in traffic and stuff. And it was a red hot day yesterday. I can't believe how hot it was. When we parked the van up <laughs> at Fort William, we literally had a, after about 15 minutes, we decided to turn the van yeah. because it was so hot coming in. Yeah, I mean, obviously, people who watch us all the time will know that we like to try and reverse the van and open the back doors and take in our views from there. And we had a lovely view when we first parked up, but the sun was just belting through the back doors. On all the boats. And it was red hot. The yeah. dogs were puffing and panting. They, they know they'd had a drink and they'd had a walk again, but they were just hot. So we ended up just just facing the van the other way so the sun was on the side of the van instead and we still had a beautiful view. <laughs> it was still a beautiful um, view, yeah. With the mountains and the woods. Yeah. 
it yeah. was really nice. I would park there again. Definitely. I mean, the signage was very misleading. Well, not misleading, but difficult to understand yeah. at a glance, shall yeah. we say. Yeah. Um, so. Well, I would still do it. Yeah. I mean, I, I read that yesterday and thought, oh, yeah, we'll park here. And because there was a lot of other vans already there, I thought, that's fine. And then when I've re-looked at the sign this morning when I took their dogs out, um, I've sort of re-looked at it and they sort of say it's prohibited between nine and eight um, now, well, to, I, to I stay over. Yeah, so uh, they got Alison's read it differently. So well, it is a little bit. Properly, so. It's not very clear. Just blame it on me. Right. Okay. So if anybody parks in there and gets a ticket, blame it on Alison. Just see it. Yeah, just I've got a brain disorder. Yeah, appeal the I ticket. Mean... Appeal the ticket and get them to send the response to Alison. <laughs> and she'll sort it out. She'll just. I'll sort it out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Have a read, make your own decision. Yeah. Right. But anyway, so we're, we've been to McDonald's, we've been fed water, used the facilities, now we're heading off to Sky. Um, As you do. Yeah, the dogs have all been out. Um, all quiet. Yeah, they've all had uh, used the local amenities, shall I say the ground. Um, Big bugs. And they've been fed. So, yeah, off up to Sky now, so we'll flick you around, let you have a bit of oh. the road, and we'll catch up in a bit. Fabulous. Feet up on the dash and the calling open road. Road trip classics on the radio. With your hand tied in mine, there's no such thing as time. Now we can go anywhere you want to go. about this microphone. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Well, this is what I like. She, she gets a microphone, you kind of show her up. <laughs> to try and get a, it's a lovely vantage point up here over the mountains with a mist. Looking really nice. Lost with you, with 
stray away from the avenue. Actually, just travelling up, um, and we're actually being driving through that clouds, that low mist that's surrounding the mountains. Um, it's it's just starting to brighten up a little bit now because we're actually above that mist, uh, but we've just drove through the mist. Um, yeah, <laughs> all the viewpoints, all you can see is just grey mist. Just yeah, just great looking into the grey. But now that we're above it, look, this is the weather we've got. We've actually a nice day in sunshine. <laughs> it was like gorillas in the mist. So if ever you're thinking about buying a house round here, try and get a low level one or a really high level one. <laughs> if you get one in the middle, you'd just be living in a fog. Proud and Forever's our own, they'll stay Proud and days are on their way Chasing sunsets in the sky Won't let these moments pass us by Shake my hand, don't be Another one longer, so we've temporarily stopped here. There's his dog's there. Oh. Because he's back in the sea where he likes to be. Just on there, there you go. <laughs> there you are, darling. I know. No, Don't you drink can't that. That's salty water. Salty you cooling water. He's cooling off, son. He's cooling off. Get you a proper drink. That's salty water. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, hang on. We were, oh, it is on. Not used to this mic. Are you done your reds? <laughs> <laughs> so. It's, right, this is beautiful. Shall we get them a fresh drink? Yes. Let's, try Let's get them a fresh it. drink in the air dinners. Trotter, and he's coming this way along. Right, yeah, he's pulled in there, so that car's in front of us, so we'll go up down. I'll give the tractor driver a nice wave. This autumn town Find a place to be alone Look Ow. into your eyes Ow. Feeling <sighs> butterflies oh, Stop pulling We could dance right. under the stars Fall into each <laughs> other's arms Come on, this way Nowhere else we need to be it's you and me We can lose this world Ooh. So hold on to what we know we have Maybe. Hold on to moments that we share Hold on if all we have is just each other Everything will be fine Just hold on They're all right. It's a beautiful day to get wet. Then the night turned into day. Oh, soon. Oh, soon. Oh, I'm going to get wet again. Oh. How come, Andrew, I'm more wet than you? All right, let's go for a plunge. So 
Let's go for a plunge. That's a good boy. Shush. Come on. All right, in a minute. I'm soaking. And here he comes again for round two. <laughs> it's like a jackrabbit. All right, all right. Okay. This is an absolute beautiful place and it's perfect for us. And Andrew won't tell you this, but just before he's went down to take Bracken in, um, he couldn't find the keys to the van. He had to empty the front seat of the van, which had all the bags on. I was going through everything with him and he could not find it. He was looking for the keys for about 15 minutes and then I just happened to look up and the top box was open with the keys in. So at least we found them, which is just normal, living with Andrew. He always forgets things, as everybody does. But um, <laughs> with Andrew, uh, the found in most the obvious places. Right, Andrew, because we've did two days driving, well, you have. How's our Lily? So our Daisy? And <clears throat> look, he's behind us. Bracken's been dry, and Andrew's chilling out with. He's drying in the sun. He's drying in the sun with <clears throat> a nice bottle of beer because we're not driving now. Come on, get down. Lie on your bed. You lie on that towel. For lie down. Control. You're not getting in the van while you're sopping. And this is the view from the back of the van. Can it be? Shadow in the dark Left me with a burning heart Summer comes and goes, they say But with you, darling, it only stays It's sure as a new sunrise Fantastic. Bracken. We watched the beautiful sunset. There's just a couple of other campers just on the other side across there, uh, behind that wall. But we're the only one in the position that we're in. Um, absolutely fantastic sleep. So quiet. Um, we actually got about 11 hours sleep last night, <laughs> really good. So I am just about to tuck into this wonderful breakfast. So I'll catch you in a bit. So the belly's full, a bit and an egg sandwich was lovely. Um, so absolutely tremendous for that. Um, so today's itinerary. Well, to be fair, we actually came here yesterday, um, yesterday afternoon, when we got to this spot, and it's absolutely stunning. Um, it's a nice beach. We had Bracken swimming around yesterday. Um, it's a shallow beach. The water is crystal clear. Um, 
and we're the only ones here at the minute, apart from the ones a bit further along the beach, but uh, we've got the place to ourselves, so I think what we might actually do um, is stay here for the, another day, um, just chill out, enjoy the beach, um, I'd brought and enjoy the water. Um, I was in Wirram a little bit yesterday, um, and I'm planning on doing the same again today. So, yeah, so I think today we're just going to chill out and stay around here, um, and then move on tomorrow. We'll try and move further further up the coast. We are um, getting there with ferry across to um, Harrison Lewis from a place called Ewig, which is on the uh, top northwest part of the island. Um, so tomorrow we'll sort of drive up towards that way. Um, we'll try and get a parking spot a little bit closer to Ewig. Uh, we're currently probably about 45 mile away from Ewig, but it's not 45 mile in a straight line. It's 45 mile that's like this. So it's 45 mile takes a canny while to drive. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's the plan for tomorrow. We'll head up um, a little bit closer to Ewig, and uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, can't really go wrong, can you? U-I-G, Ewig, sounds right. Um, anyway, and then we'll get the ferry across to uh, Harrison Lewis, and we'll take it from there. So I think we'll just catch up with you throughout the day, um, let you see what's going on. I did get the drone up yesterday, I got a couple of nice shots. Um, you can see how clear the water is with the drone, it's, it's tremendous. So, yeah. So I'll catch up with you in a little while. Bracken, come here. Come on. I'll go by you. I'm watching you. Why are you getting away? Come on then. That's a good lad. Yeah. Stay down. Because you've just knocked me coffee out of you, little bugger. So, we're on the Coca Mail today, and I've got a little bit of a special surprise for anyone that who's a regular. But uh, we've got the kettle boiling at the minute because Alison's just been out and it's a bit cold at the minute. So, I'm going to get a nice warm cup of coffee sorted first. But in the meantime, I'm just going to chop this onion, and get this ready for today's dinner. So, when I say dinner, I mean lunch. But you know what I mean. There's a nice white strong onions. Can't have smell them. Smell beautiful. Like the ones my nana used to grow. Right, I wanna finally chop this. Get over there, bro. Right, so today we're going to have meatballs and pasta for our lunch. So I've just boiled the kettle up just to get some boiling water in the pan. I am going to carefully measure out the pasta. So that's one for me. One for Alison. And a little bit for the pan. So I'm just going to leave that pan um, boiling for a little bit with the pasta in and then we can come back and start on the meatballs, onions and the sauce. Right so pasta is now cooked in this pan so I'm just going to put this to one side with the lid on just to keep it nice and hot. Now Anyone who's a regular to the channel will realize that in the past we've really struggled with the little pan of wonders. We've always wondered how we get so much food in it and it's a difficult cook. So, ladies and gentlemen, I said we had a nice surprise on this channel. Here we go. Please welcome to the stage and the cooker. It is Little Orange, the big, big black. 
the new pan that fits perfect on the stove. <laughs> I'm going to show you this on the stove because it does fit perfect. There we are. Look at that. Nice flat bottom as well with the curved sides. So the flat bottom helps with the heat balance around the pan uh, on such a small stove. So absolutely perfect with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to christen the pan with a little bit of olive oil. We have getting rid of the sesame oil because Alison didn't like it apparently. Wasn't a fan were you pet? No. Nope. No. Wasn't a fan. And we are going to get this gas cooking. Perfect. Now, the plan is we are having meatballs with pasta. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to direct you down to the main stage, which is the chopping board. Now these meatballs, just to make things easier to cook, I am just going to try and quickly cut them all in half. So we have smaller meatballs. So what these straight, I'm not tipping these into the drawer by the way, I've got my chopping board in place. And I'm just going to chop these in half and get them chucked into that pan. That's it there. Oh, oh yes. Looking good. No, unfortunately. When we went to buy Little Orange, the big black pan, I was that excited, I forgot to buy a wooden spatula. So, hide your eyes everybody while I stir the meatballs with a spoon. Shocking and not the best for the pan. You shouldn't be using a spoon in a pan. Remember these onions I chopped earlier? They're going in as well. Now the good thing about little orange, the big black pan, it's got two handles on it. So I can give it a stir round. Yeah, that's looking nice. Yeah, so when we purchased this pan, we did do a video about buying the pan. Um, we put that on the web, uh, on the members page, um, just as a, a little extra. And um, we put bits of outtakes and other videos on the members page. So think about becoming a member. Um, it's all fun on that side. But what I did consider about the pan when I bought it was we wanted something big enough to cook to you know meals in there but we also wanted it to fit into our cupboards now if normally by a big pan like that it would have a big pan handle on it to outer ear which then would have been a bit of a nightmare to get in the cupboards hence why i went for this one where it's got the two side handles on great for being able to chuck it around i will say the handles do the uh, pan handles handles pan handles <laughs> do get warm but the fine and because <laughs> trickster you see it's got a flat base i'm not going to tip it up like some of you are probably expecting so it does have a flat base so obviously the gas coming from the burner that we have comes out to about this far which is about what the bottom of the pan is so ideal so i'm going to give this another quick stir then i'm going to stick the lid on just to retain the heat in the pan Oh, everybody cringing. Listen to that stirring in the pan. Oh, cringeworthy. Right, lid on. Let's just cook that for a little bit. Come back to you in a second.
So the onions is cooking nice in there, the meatballs is cooking nice in there. I'm now going to add the sauce, which is a bolognese sauce that I made earlier, and I'm just storing it in this handy little carton that ironically says bolognese sauce. Um, it's, it's like I actually purchased it. So. What's in it? Yeah, bolognese stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, cringe-worthy again, that sound. I will show you this in two minutes once I get this stirred around a bit. Oh, that's looking nice. Cooking through there, lovely. So the next plan of action is that pasta that I cooked a little while ago, still nice and warm. That's <laughs> nearly didn't go in the pan. That's going in the pan. Another quick stir. Good thing about their meatballs, cutting them in half as well, is when I took them out the packet, we only had 12. Now we've got 24 meatballs. <laughs> yeah, double the food. <laughs> well, it's something tremendous. We'll keep that nice and uh, just on a low gas and just let that simmer for a little bit. And I'll come back to you in a second. So, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Alison, I give you meatballs and pasta with extra mature. Where's the Uh, give you a spoon. Next you can, very briefly. I forgot the cutlery, and apparently there's only one fork <laughs> and two spoons. Oh well. What a nightmare. As Alison says, for some reason, our cutlery's vanished out the van. So we must have took it in the house at some point to give it all a good clean, and we've left it. So we've literally got three big spoons, a knife and a fork, and I think that's about it. Um, Is that part of the fun? Hey, I'm going to turn you down here. You're looking at me. You should be looking at me food. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get you down. There you are. All right. So we have only got grated mature cheddar on the top. So no parmesan here. But it is. Hey, tell you what. And on the Ritz here, pet, we're roughing it. So this is lunch. Our pasta and meatballs with, I've got black pepper and grated cheddar because we haven't got parmesan. But it looks stunning. It smells really nice. How's it tasting, pet? Tasty. Nice. Little orange hasn't let us down. <laughs> yeah, it's a good pan that. That's bite. Yeah, I'll share it with you. You have that one. You have that bite. Do you want that bite? I love it. See you in a bit. Well, just a quick one. That meal was absolutely beautiful and it was a real belly buster. I was saying to Alison what I should have done is just add the 12 meatballs instead of cutting them in off. It would have been far easier to eat 12 meatballs than 24. I think 24 of them was just pushing it. Pushing it with the grill. Yeah, uh, yeah, pushing it. We, we should have just had 12 meatballs instead of 24. But uh, anyway, now we're going to do a little bit of washing up, get tidied up in the van and I'll come back to you in a bit. So, currently uh, chilling at the minute, um, the weather's not too good outside, it's not raining but it is really cold with the wind at the minute. Um, Which is weird because we've had two red hot days. Yeah, the days we've had, the last couple of days have been red hot, really warm, um, but today it's changed a little bit. Um, 
it's been really cloudy all day which is fine but the wind is a bit cutting so we've been we've had the dogs out and about um but we've been in the van uh, most of the time um had a walk on the beach well yeah sort of so yesterday I actually knocked a big glass of water over which went on the cushion, on the floor, on the mats, it, on your literally everything. Um, plus obviously I was in the sea with Brian um, and I just went in with my t-shirt on and my shorts on and my trainers on and just literally... <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Did you have your trainers on? I had everything on. So we've been struggling to get all of that dry because obviously it's cold outside it is a little bit windy but it's it's the cold so it's not drying so what we've managed to do is we've just and i'm sure everybody else has done it <laughs> we've, we've rigged up the washing line <laughs> and we've had the, the heater on the diesel heater on for a little bit so it's nice and warm inside so hopefully it'll dry out a little bit um just got one of the windows cracked a little bit so we can uh, vent that out but So, yeah, we're just currently chilling at the minute. Um, what, Alison? It's been very busy with people and canoes down here today. Didn't I tell you about this microphone? Very Shake, busy. It's a new microphone. You're not going to stop her talking. <laughs> I've seen about 10. Yeah. I, at this secret location. Yeah, this spot that we're at. Um, it's, it is on park for night, but I'm going to keep quiet about it because... It needs to stay a secret, but if you look it up on part night, you'll find it. Um, but, yeah, there's loads of people come here for canoeing. So they've got the sea kayaks. I know not about canoes, so if I'm telling you the wrong thing, I don't know whether it's a sea kayak, a sea canoe, or whatever. But they were really big, long canoes. Um, <laughs> and there's... Been... <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, but there's been loads of people, and the gone down into the water and they've been away for hours um, before they've came back so I don't know whether they've gone round just a big part of the island or whether they've gone around the whole island I've no idea but uh, yeah they've been away for hours so really popular for that Hello. the beach where we're at um, I'll put a couple of photographs on the video I think they're short but yes <coughs> so, Lily thinks she's lying. Yeah, somebody's just came back with a canoe. Somebody else just pulled up. Our secret locations. Oh, you've just missed out. That was the guard dog. Not very secret. And Bracken doesn't even know what he's barking at. He's just he's barking because she is. She is. Right. right, Lily. Lily long legs, that's enough. Right, get up here. Get you. Hey, hey. It's a woman and a child right next to us. Right. Oi! <laughs> the child's looking at her washing. <laughs> right, you, stop barking. Lily. Lily, get your long legs up here. Come on. We'll call her little Lily Long Legs. All right, that's her. All mouth, and you down. Oi, Lily. Hey. So one box that just sets off a chain reaction with the other. Are you waffling? No, watch. Oi. Lily. Lily. Right. Get in here. Yeah, so. It's because they're right by the Can't even remember right what I was saying now. Tide. So that tide yesterday was quite far out when we were in the sea with the dog. Well, when I was. Um, but then. The tide came in this morning. I can't believe how far up it came. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. I mean, it was, it, you know, nowhere near the van. Oi, stop. But it came right in, but it's it's a really shallow bit. So obviously it doesn't take much water to fill it up, I'm guessing. But, uh, yeah, the difference is amazing when you, see, <laughs> when you see the photographs from low tide and high tide. As I say, if I remember, I'll try and put them on this bit. Um, if I even use this bit, because I am actually just waffling at the minute. Um, waffle, waffle, waffle. One thing, I uh, bumped into a guy who was outside. He pulled up on a lovely motorbike. Um, and I went out and had a bit of chat with him. And he was from... New Jersey. New Jersey. Um, 
in America, not the new part of Jersey that's in the channels. Um, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> so you I said I waffle. I know. So I was talking to this guy, really nice guy called Simon from New Jersey, who has a YouTube channel as well, uh, Adventure Piggy, it's called. Um, and it's really good if if you're into your motorbikes and uh, traveling around and stuff like that. It's, it's a really good channel. I've watched a couple of his videos today and subscribed to him as well. Um, but he, it's a bit like, I don't know if you've ever seen that program on TV, The Long Way Around or The Long Way Down and The Long Way Up. And that, who was in? Who done that again? Charlie. Charlie Borman. And, and that actor. Man. Here is in the comments. Scottish actor. Scottish actor. He was in Train Ewan Spotting. McGregor. Oh, Ewan McGregor. Didn't bother with the comments because we know it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we that, not know it. Yeah, that that was a really good program that we used to watch, yeah, even though good. we're not really into uh, water bikes and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you're into your bikes and stuff, check them out. Um, so at Adventure Piggy. Okay, so a nice shout out for him. Um, another thing, just while I am talking and uh, chatting, um, I'm actually on a Facebook group, um, which is called Durham Dubs. So really good, really good Facebook group. I know there's loads of uh, VW Facebook groups out there and, you know, about the camper vans and stuff. But Durham Dubs is really good. It is uh, obviously local to us. Um, we have got an event that's coming up soon at the end of this month. Uh, we've got the, the coastal cruise. So I am, obviously we've, you know, we've ticked the box and we're going to the coastal cruise. Sorry, got the dog just climbing on us. This is what they like. <laughs> Daisy, what are you doing? She wants to sit on your knee. Oh. Trying to get comfy. Okay. Where's Bracken? Oh, know. he's down there. In the van, I couldn't find the biggest dog. Yeah, see, they just disappear. They do. Yeah, so Durham Dubs, um, as I say, we're doing the coastal cruise, which is up um, towards sort of Whitley Bay along that kind of that area of the coast. Um, probably going to take in Tynemouth area, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, that's at the end of the month, so I'll hopefully. Keep the camera rolling and we'll get a bit of that on for one of the other videos as well. So, yeah, big shout out, Durham Dubs. Again, that's done. Anything else you you want to... What were you thinking about before? Look. <laughs> My name is Michael Pine and I am a nosy neighbour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daisy. <laughs> um... Yeah, so we're going to move tomorrow, aren't we? We don't know where yet, but we're going to move. Going to head up the coast a little bit. We're in the, at the moment, without giving our secret location away, <laughs> we're in the bit um, on the west side and the bit that juts out in a really nice little bit area. Yeah, really nice. But our plan tomorrow is get back to like the main part of Sky and head up a little bit. Just the, so we're a little yeah. bit closer to the ferry Fury, terminal yeah. for in the morning. Uh, not to, not what? Not in the morning, but the following morning. Oh, yeah. So, tell you, good. <laughs> you just lose all track of time when you're away. We do, we didn't know what day it is. <laughs> so, that's just normal day to day, then. We what happened to tea? Well, after that big lunch, I'm not sure. Hmm. I know, I've just had the munchies today. It's not like me. Yeah. It's the sea air yeah, pet. Gives you the munchies. Probably is, yeah. Either that or all the drugs you've done. Probably all the drugs. I will say they're all legitimate and they are prescribed. <laughs> they're all over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so no, I think I'm looking at a chicken curry for tea tonight, pet. But we'll see how things go. See how things go. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my new pan. Because my new pan is really, really good. So, and the good thing is about that new pan where I found it's actually bigger than our sink, so I can wash <laughs> up in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think of that? No, that was one thing I didn't actually have on my to-do list when I was buying it, but yeah, <gasps> so all good stuff. Yeah. Anyway, so it's the end of this waffle for now. Is it? I don't know, is it? I don't know, I didn't listen to your waffle. 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, a, I'm sure I've shown people before, but we actually, we don't have a telly in the van. We just have an iPad that Alison is demonstrating. It's my iPad. So it's an iPad and it's on a, it's actually a, a tablet swivel. It's like a TV swivel thing, but it's made for tablets. Mm -hmm. So we've got that on there and it's, although it's not big, the position of where it is in relation to where we sit, it's perfect. Um, so we have got connection mm -hmm. where we are, um, a good um, mobile phone connection and stuff. I'm shocked at that. So, yeah, it is really good. Because we're good. surrounded by mountains. But what we tend to do is, um, and I, I might have mentioned this before, um, because obviously when we're traveling, what I found is that if we're on two different mobile services, even if like I can't get reception, sometimes Alison can or vice versa. So we've both got quite a good package for our data limits and stuff like that. Um, but what we do as well, because we have Amazon Prime, we'll download quite a bit of stuff uh, that we can still play if we haven't got any kind of reception. So we've currently got um, Jack Reacher on there. We've got a couple of the Mission Impossibles on there. We've got... Chicago PD. Yeah, we've got the full series of Chicago PD as well, which we've already watched. Watched all the Chicago stuff because we're During old. During COVID, that yeah, was. because we're old and we sit and watch the telly a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but Chicago PD is a really good one to watch. So we've started <laughs> watching that one again. Yeah, but last night... Um, we says, oh, we'll settle down and put it on. <clears throat> and I clicked the first, well, the first episode, and um, I didn't even see it. All this sea air just knocked me out. Did you see it? No. Oh, did you? Well, yeah, I watched it. Watch but we, didn't, we didn't click the second one. I know. <laughs> Good. Anyway, it's and we had a good 11 hours skip. I was going to say, the, the sea air definitely works because yeah. we, we both slept for about 11 hours last Including night. Including the dogs. Yeah. Well, I had to wake this one up. This one. Didn't we, Daisy? Aww. Didn't we? Didn't we? Bit shy. Cute Daisy. Right. So anyway, that's enough waffle. So that's our waffle section. Feel free to fast forward. And I can of say past the dog. She's getting in my view again. <laughs> Might you mind up if you're coming on the video, darling? There's lots of people on the beach. There now. she is. Come here, Daisy. Show your face. Show your little face. Go, oh, good. What, 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 get off me here. Right, that's it. <laughs> not enough. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Feel free to cut this bit out if you're not interested in listening to old codgers waffling on. Speak um, for yourself. <laughs> anyway, catch you in a bit. Such thing as time Now we can go anywhere you 